We're on the pace 1093 in math, and I want to do a little introductory lesson to pages one through nine. It's about graphing points and talk about relations and functions and some terms that maybe you have never heard before. All right. And then later in this pace, we get into graphing lines and some other interesting things. But let's talk first about plotting points on a graph. You have used number lines, I'm sure, before. And so zero would be at the middle. And then we go to the right. We number one, two, three, four, and it continues. All right, this is the X axis, it's called. The Y axis goes this way, but let me number these. Negative one, this is zero at the center. Negative two, negative three, negative four, and the numbers continue in both directions, okay? Now, just like a thermometer, up and down, the temperature rises, and we go up to positive one, two, three, four, continues to go up. And then the negative number, so it drops below zero, and we're at negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, etc. And this is called the y axis. Okay, let me just mention to you another terminology that you'll encounter in the pace, and that is that these. This space here is divided into four sections, okay? So this section is where we start, both positive, okay? This is called quadrant one. Now we go this direction, counterclockwise. This is the second quadrant. And then we drop below, and it's the third quadrant. We always use Roman numerals for some reason to label these. And then the fourth quadrant here. So there's only four. So we start here in the positive, positive zone with one, two, three, four. So that's easy. <clears throat> there's a few questions where you will have to uh, write that out. Now let's talk about naming points, coming up with the address for a particular point. And if you've ever played the game um, Battleship and uh, you have a grid, right? And on that grid, they have, um, it's kind of sloppy, but maybe they have letters up here. A, B, C, D, E, coming down here, one, two, three, four, etc. And so your, your friend says, C, two. And so you look here and you say, miss. And then they say, E, one. Oh, that's a hit, right? You're familiar with that. Well, we do something similar when we're naming points, okay? We look across here first to find the number, and then we go this direction and we find a number, and then where those two numbers intersect, that spot is the address or the coordinate, we call it, for that point. So let's say I want to find the point three, four. What that means is I go out here to three on this axis, and then I go up to where the four comes across, and that crosshairs right there where those two lines meet is the address of that point, three, four. So in the game, we have columns and rows, and we're finding you know, the open space. Here we're actually finding the spot on the line where they intersect, okay? I had a student a while back who said uh, <clears throat> he had a teacher who told him we learn to crawl before we stand up, okay? So maybe that will help you too. Let's find the point negative 2, uh, 3, negative 2, 3. So we crawl, but we're crawling backwards to negative 2. And then I'm going to stand up to 3. So this would be the point right here, negative 2, 3. Uh, let me put a point right here and figure out what the address of this point would be. Well, it's right where this intersects and where this intersects. So can you see what the address would be? We always do the x first. So that would be 4 out here on the positive 4 but then we're going down to negative three. So the y value is negative three. So in all of these, the first number is the x, the second number is the y. Now, 
<clears throat> they introduce here at this pre-algebra level some pretty advanced, I think, algebra concepts. And uh, they're going to obviously build on this when they get to Algebra 1 and Algebra 2. So we're just introducing some terminology. And that is um, the term range and domain. Let's see, what page was that on? Yes, page 6. Okay. So I, this is the coordinate of the point, or we might call it the address. That's what I call it. It's also called a relation, okay, because we're relating these two numbers together and it comes up with the address. So the ordered pair is a relation. The first number, which is the x, is also called the domain. And the second number, which is the y value, is called the range. So again, those terms might not mean a whole lot to you yet, <clears throat> but you're going to get familiar with just using them. It's not hard. It's just different. Okay, so you just have to get used to it. So let's look at these three points that I graphed right here, and let's figure out what would the domain of those three points be. If I just had to list the domain, let's say I start with this point in quadrant one, then I would say it's three. Over here, I have negative 2, and down here, I have 4. So that's the domain. I just listed those three numbers. Okay, not too hard, huh? And then if it says, give me the range of those three points, then I'm going to list 4, because that's the y value. Over here, 3, and here, negative 3. All right? So it's just a matter of inspecting, looking at it, and copying those numbers down. I, it's, it's not that hard. I don't think you'll have any trouble doing that. So like on page 6, you're going to graph the points, but then you also list which points make up the domain and which points make up the range. All right. Uh, one last thing here, and that's on page 8 and 9. And it introduces another term called function and functional notation, f of x or f at x. And uh, so I could say, let me use a different color here, I'll use green. Looking at these graph numbers here, if I said f of 3, what is the value, in other words, what is the range or the answer if I plugged in 3 for x? And the answer would be 4, because 4 matches up with 3. What would be the function of negative 2? Function of negative 2 is 3. 3 is being matched to the negative 2. Again, this is not hard. It's just looking at it, copying it over, trying to get the concept in your head of what these terms mean and how to use them. There's no problem solving, okay? It's not, this is not going to be difficult. It's just like I said, very different. Function of f, so f of f, f of 4, rather, would be negative 3. <clears throat> now it goes on and clarifies a couple of things, you know, that if you have, uh, if we had two points uh, lined up in the same place and they have the same uh, domain number, you only list it once in the domain. You don't list the three twice if that happened. Anyways, I'll let you read through. Make sure, don't skip it, okay? Read all the examples, study the examples. Make sure you uh, stop at the bottom of each page and score. Don't just fly through a whole bunch of pages and get a bunch wrong. Score after each page and make sure you're on track. All right, I'll pick it up again on page 10 as we talk about graphing a line.